Hi everybody. Today among uh, the triplets used in Indian traditional food, we have moringa leaves. I have moringa spread throughout my house. Whenever we say moringa, we do remember our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. He had an interaction with fitness influencers common man and many celebrities in Fit India movement last year said that his mother prepared the drumstick parathas and the immunity he had developed is because of Moringa. The pulp after cooking drumstick is removed and roasted along with the onions chili powder, garam masala, salt and stuffed in parathas. After the interaction in Fit India moment last year, many videos on YouTube have come using the moringa leaves, drumstick as well as flowers. Not only that, many food blogs have appeared on social media. Now, let's look into the benefits using Moringa leaves. Health buffs have no second thought about adding Moringa leaf to their everyday diet. This is because something easily available, affordable, and so nutritious. How much to be consumed? If it's fresh, one cup, and if it is dried, then five milligrams per kg body weight. Moringa leaves are rich in protein and contains all the essential amino acids needed for growth and maintenance of the body. It contains two times more protein than of yogurt in fresh leaves and nine times more than of yogurt in dried leaves. Moringa is good for bone health. Its anti-inflammatory properties help the body to fight against osteoporosis. Moringa leaves contain 440 milligrams of calcium per 100 grams in fresh leaves and 2000 milligrams of calcium per 100 grams in dried leaves. Thus, Moringa leaves are rich source of calcium and phosphorus. It contains four times more the calcium of milk in fresh leaves, 17 times more in dried leaves. It is also a rich source of iron, helps in curing anemia. Dried leaves contains 25 times more of iron than spinach. It is super high in vitamins like vitamin A, B6, C and other B complex vitamins. It contains 4 times more of vitamin A than in carrot in fresh leaves and 10 times more in dried leaves, four times more of vitamin C than in orange. It aids in weight loss. This is because it actually reduces the fat formation and also helps in fat breakdown. So it is advised to take Moringa leaves in the form of tea or in the form of soup. Health benefits of Moringa leaves. It boosts immunity. It helps in hormonal balance, diabetes, hypertension, thyroid problems, knee arthritis, disc problems, spinal nerve compression, asthma and other respiratory disorders, migraine, reduces fluid retention, treats gastric ulcer, good for skin and hair, prevents kidney stones, anti-inflammatory and anti-toxic properties are also seen in Moringa. 
as I told you that I have lots of moringa leaves and drumsticks left over with me. I think my sister is going to come. I'll give this to her. Let's see what innovative recipe she is going to come out of it. It's over to Balakamla. Hi, this is Bala. Welcome to Magic with Food. Today we are talking about the Moringa plant and the uses of this Moringa tree. Moringa tree is nothing but it is drumstick plant where we very fondly eat all the drumsticks in the form of sambar or in pickle. We also use the leaves which is called super food. I am going to give a demonstration how to use these moringa leaves and this is tamarind leaves. I am going to make a chutney out of this tamarind leaves and the moringa leaves. The ingredients required are mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, uh, Bengal gram dal, white lentil, fenugreek seeds, uh, red chilies, turmeric powder, green chilies, salt, hing and oil. Let's start the procedure. Switch on the gas. When the pan is hot, put one and a half spoons of oil, add burazal, chana dal, mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, turmeric powder, cumin seeds and about 4-5 green red chilies and then fry till the dals become brown in color. I am going to add tamarind leaves and also a little bit of salt also little hing. Transfer the ingredients and the tamarind leaves into your plate and then cool it. Now again we need switch on the gas. Keep it aside to cool. Then now I'm switching on the gas. Now again I'm adding two spoons of oil. I'm adding moringa leaves. And I just want to saute it for five minutes. Five minutes. I have added two green chilies also. Now I want to add some more salt. Switch up the gas and now I will mix these all the ingredients and then grind it coarsely. Then your chutney is ready. This can be eaten with rice and ghee. And I made ada with moringa leaves. I had the ada batter. I have added moringa leaves into it. And this can be eaten by itself because this ada has got everything, salt and chili, everything.